Aries Leo Sagittarius, welcome to Healing Hype Man. This is your message for May. Um, check out your sun, moon, rising. Check us out on Instagram. I have daily messages there every day. We get pretty deep. At the end, if you like this, give it a like, share, subscribe. It goes a long way. I would love for other fire signs to see this, so send this to your friends. And let's get into this. Your message for May, right? Let's see what's going on for you. From God's visions to my mouth. Let's see what comes out. Aries Leo Sag. Knight of Wands. We're going to pull nine cards here. Queen of Wands. Wow, fiery. Judgment. Five of Cups. Page of Pentacles. The Emperor. I like the Empress. Wow. Eight of Swords. The Hierophant. Wow. What a massive breakthrough we're having here. Trust. I don't know why. Never mind. Innocence from Osho Zen. And from Shamanic Healing, we have new beginnings. <laughs> we are definitely heading full force to some something, someone, somewhere, something that was inevitable for you, really standing in your power, trusting that the direction you very well might have been heading in or trying to go into is actually working out for you, um, really being put to the top. Queen of Wands really tells me that you're that you're you're in a leader like figure. You're you're standing in your power. You're portraying yourself authentic, and because of that, it's like aha moments have taken place. Realizations have taken place. Plans, God's plan, your North Node, your soul's purpose is is aligning with you here, and you very well might have gone full force at it very quickly, and you're trusting the process here. Five of Cups, Page of Pentacles, and the Emperor. Um, you know, even when things weren't necessarily working out for you, I feel like there was still a level of innocence from you, a level of like curiosity, and it actually brought you to to this to this level. Um, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if somebody here is like being recognized for some sort of aspect in their life with the Queen of Wands, the Emperor, and the Empress here. It's like you're being put on a pedestal. You're being you're you're about to be be you're about to to start a new beginning where you're put up on the pedestal that you deserve to be on after you going after something even when things didn't work out to the way you always and planned on something here is working out the way it's supposed to work out and you you still invested your time and effort into it even when when times might have been like it's not necessarily look like it's going to work out but you still went after it and i think that also comes from a really innocent space of like but this is what i want to do this is what i like this is who i like this is the direction i want to go you know, having that innocent vibe. And I say innocence like twice or three times here because you have the page of pentacles. It's like, you know, they're, st they're still willing to invest and like learn and, and invest into something that they might not know where the outcome is, but it goes from the page of pentacles straight to the emperor. It's like because of your hard work and effort and putting in that little bit of investment, it's bringing you straight to the top. Even though at times it didn't work out. The Empress, the Eight of Swords, and the Hierophant here. You very well might be questioning your level of status here. Um, you might be in your head a little bit and thinking that you're not worth it or you're not worthy of it. I would be cautious with that. With that, this is Empress is about worthiness. It's about it's it's about you know the the royalty and the the level of status that she holds came from her hard work and labor right she physically gone through labor the pictation there is like she's worked hard to get to where she's at and maybe you might be in your head or feel like you know am i worthy of this am i is this something that i can i can actually handle like putting yourself in a stuck position i feel like that's the only negative card here i'm going to say nothing's really negative it's more just an observation here you know why are you doubting yourself or thinking thinking what are you thinking here we're going to dive into that and then you have the Hierophant right above the Emperor in the Judgment Call. Like this is spiritually, divinely guided to put you where you need to be, to put you in that place where you're supposed to be. Bottom of the deck, Nine of Cups with the Chariot card. Uh, let's, uh, let's talk about I'm going only after things that satisfy my needs. I'm only going after things that are actually working out in my favor, wish fulfillment here. I'm actually going after it, and it's actually right in front of me. 
right? This new beginnings here, we'll dive into that. Let's kind of dive, dive into the cards. Let's clarify Knight of Wands, Queen of Wands, and Judgment. Knight of Cups, literally a journey. Three of Swords, there's no pain here. It's judgment with the Seven of Cups here. You know, you took your pain and you turned it into different, you took your pain here and you wore it on your sleeve. And now that's giving you options. You've looked at the choices and the decisions that you have to make in life and you're being guided to a choice, to a decision, to a judgment call that's actually working out in your favor here. But it actually came from you probably having to go through some pain. The Queen of Swords, this really tells me like turn pain into power. That's really what it says. It actually gave you more drive and it's been a journey from taking on, taking it on to, to going after it and then pulling back because you might, it might, you might have been too emotionally invested into it, or you only want to do things that are emotionally invested, that you are emotionally invested in. Um, turning your pain to power, and now you're about to see the options and the choices come through, and the opportunities come through. Judgment. It's supposed to happen that way. Maybe the choices that you have made in the past literally brought you down this journey of trusting the process to the end, and the end is the judgment card. So let's clarify the Five of Cups with the Page of Pentacles and the Emperor. Two of Swords, you definitely went within. King of Wands, standing in your power, and the Devil card. Very well can say there might be a corporate aspect here. The devil card is Capricorn energy, so that's the businessmen of the zodiac. So I'm correlating that with like some sort of business aspects and and really corporate environment that you want to be attached to. Um, even though things might not have worked out for you in the past, you still invested in it. You went within. <clears throat> you went within to find the answers. Two of swords. And really, uh, the choices that you had to make, I mean, you might not even maybe have realized what choice to make, but the pictation there is to go within because you knew the answers. There's still two cups pictated there in the five of cups, and you went within and you explored the options that you still had in front of you without getting so fixated on, on, on things that might not have worked out for you. And you investing the time and effort into that aspect really puts you on a pedestal. You're able to speak to something. There was some sort of drive and passion and creativity behind this, which is why you kept pushing through. Like I said, a level of innocence. You're just like innocently passionate about something here that you're now going to be able to actually grasp and feel like you can connect to, right? There's something here, like maybe you connected with yourself, right? The, the devil card is also about, you know, attachments and what are you attached to here? I think you're just attached to your vision. You're attached to your creative endeavor. You're attached to taking your vision and moving it forward and putting it on a pedestal and controlling things from your perspective and your viewpoint because you have always had that drive to begin with, even when it didn't work out for you in the past because it was just innocently liking what you like. The Empress with the Eight of Swords and the Hierophant. Let's double into that. Two of Cups, Three of Cups, I like that, Four of Pentacles here. The Empress with the Two of Cups really could say that you have, you probably have dabbled in different versions of yourself. I'm going to say it like this, you've seen the less fortunate version of you and you've seen the fortunate version of you. And I think that seeing those two sides to yourself, the Two of Cups I'm taking as your higher self here, partnerships and choices in life that you had to make have really were able to were able to add more 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 um solidity to who you want to portray and who you are and the hard work right being committed and being committed to partnerships in your life there's some connections in your life that helped you get to this point where you're thriving and being put on a pedestal and that was coming from your commitment to relationships that worked out for you some of them very well could have been new with new beginnings here. Eight of Swords with the Three of Cups here. You could be worried about the people that you might be engaging with moving forward. Maybe the community, if it's a work aspect, you're like, oh shit, now I'm stuck to these people. Very well could be a possibility here, but at the same time, you'll kind of know your place. Um, you, I would just caution here not to think that everybody is not happy for you or are looking out for you because at the same time the three of cups is about celebration right stop being so fixated on what you might be attached to or did you put yourself in a corner but at the same time this was all your work that you were doing 
and your hard work put you in this position, so it's time to celebrate that. Uh, for some of you, there very well might be just people that you, you, you going up to this level of status very well might push them out, so maybe they're even the ones that are, that might be in their head um, maybe some of them might even think that they're worthy to be with you. Like there might be an aspect here of just like level of status and f an aspect of groups of people. Um, but the right ones will stay. The right ones will be there for you. You'll know that this is stable for you and some sort of like spiritual mindset. It's traditional. There's some sort of traditionality behind it. Maybe you did things on a traditional level or an aspect of just really diving within and finding that spiritual component that that hard work that Taurus energy fire signs right that like I'm gonna bust my ass until I know I'm safe and secure very tur Taurus energy like this is Taurus right here and we're in Taurus season like I'm gonna do nothing but work and I'm not going to associate myself with anyone maybe that was the disassociation over here right and that really actually brought you to a level of of where you want to be for some of you you might just be disassociating from people because you're working on this glow up vibe, you're working on connections in your life, you're working on partnerships in your life that are actually working out for you on new beginnings. You're working on new beginnings here, so you might be pushing people away because you're busy busting your ass, being a boss bitch. <laughs> However, you quantify boss bitch to you. I just kind of went with that. Let's pull a fallback card. Pause, take a moment, close your eyes, relax your body, just breathe slowly, deeply. I think you should take a pause for a second so that you can take in how much work you have put in and where you're about to go. Rest and recharge. Take it easy today. Even in stillness, there is movement. Big aspect on just pausing. So for some of you, you guys need to pause for a minute. Right? Soak it all in. Endings bring new beginnings. I'm telling you, something here is going to start for you, and it's probably going to bust your ass. You're probably going to be working more than you have ever worked in your entire life. Um, would not be surprised. And, and new beginnings, right? Endings bring always bring new beginnings, and from the shamanic healing, we have new beginnings here. So the message is pause for a second because you're about to get what you wanted. Your wish fulfillment is coming straight at you, Nine of Cups and the Chariot. It might stress you out at some point in time too. But that's what hard work, right? You worked hard for something, but you're gonna love what you do. You are you really are going to be in your power and portraying yourself authentically. Um, just trust and keep the innocent vibe. Don't be so serious. It's not how you got there to begin with. Or at least for whoever this is resonating for. My name is Alden Catalan. I'm present. I'm done speaking now. <laughs>